Hi, this is Emily the Audi Nerd. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new 2023 Audi S3. And this one is in a color that I have been waiting so long to see, Python Yellow. The S3 went through a refresh when it was discontinued in 2020 after the 8V and a half generation and then it was reintroduced again as a whole new body style for 2022. This 2023 is the same as the 2022, but this is the model that we have to take a look at today. When the S3 was reintroduced, it was now called the 8Y generation, where the previous one was 8V and a half. The things to note is you can see the whole front end got a totally different redesign compared to the previous generation, and it got nearly two inches bigger in every single direction. Two inches longer, two inches taller, and nearly two inches wider. The other thing to note is that the interior, as I mentioned, has a completely different redesign, so it is now all the touchscreens, which we are used to in all of the other vehicles. First, let's talk about the engine. We are now on the fourth generation of the EA888 four-cylinder turbocharged engine that Audi and Volkswagen have been using for a little over a decade now. It is a fantastic engine and there's been very small changes to meet EPA standards now. The, it also does get a little bit of a horsepower bump. It now has 306 horsepower with 295 foot-pound of torque. It goes from 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds and the top speed is 155 miles an hour. Another item that was changed is the engine cover. It got four red markers above the coil packs, and the cover is now made of a flexible foam. You may be thinking because this is the S3, it's completely focused on performance and doesn't have anything for your driver's assistance or safety features, but you couldn't be more wrong. This vehicle is jam-packed with tons of safety features, including front and rear collision warning. It also has six proximity sensors along the front, six proximity sensors along the rear. It can park itself when you option with the Premium Plus package. You can have the adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. It also does come standard with Audi side assist and rear cross traffic alert. Now coming down to the front of the vehicle, this is where I want to start where we can highlight all of the unique things that have changed on this generation versus the previous generation. This generation, as you can tell, its goal is to be much more aggressive and definitely have a presence on the road. You can see from this huge single frame grille across the entire front, it's extremely wide, trying to give that really wide stance where it's sitting really well. This vehicle has the black optics package, so there's a couple of things that you'll see from that package. You can see all the black, the gloss black here in the honeycomb style grille, which is another first thing on this S3. Coming up, you'll see your black rings and badges here. Moving up just a little bit, you'll see your three heritage vents. This plays tribute to the Sport Quattro. Moving up just a little bit from that, you can see from this angle how the scoop of the hood, it's got these really aggressive lines. A line coming across here, matching that, um, coming from the middle and, and coming right here into matching up each of these points for the three heritage vents. But it doesn't stop there. Moving down, as you can see over on this side, you can see these huge vents all along here. And then if you come over on this side, this vent actually goes all the way through, and this one is also going all the way through to an oil cooler behind this vent. Giving it a really low wide look is this gloss black front spitter all along and underneath the grill. Now moving along to the side of the vehicle, there are two things that I really want to point out that are new to the S3. First of all, you'll see that the, for the first time, they're actually including the Audi Sport logo up here on the wheels, and it's in a different contrasting color. I love that they do it with the red, with the red brake calipers, which you'll see right here. The other thing that's new for the S3 is you'll see the drilled rotors in there. So they have the drilling all the way around. They are still ventilated as well. Now taking another look at these wheels, I love these wheels. I'm super excited to see it on this car. I think it's very proportionate. And I love that they did it with this size and the contrast. I think this particular wheel on the yellow, awesome combo. But now I have a trivia question for you about these wheels. What was the vehicle that this design of wheel was debuted on? As I mentioned earlier, this vehicle has the black optics package. There's a couple of things that they have done for the first time ever on the S3 as a part of the black optics package. First, you'll see your, your black your gloss black mirror caps. That is a standard feature on all of the black optics cars, pretty common. And of course, all of your black roof surrounds and all of that coming up, but there's something really cool, and my husband is very glad that they finally did this because he had to actually paint or wrap all of his other MQB cars that didn't have the black roof. But now there's finally the option for the glass black up here on the roof. I love how it gives it that single color all the way along the top, really uniform instead of adding this patchy color match for the rest of the vehicle. Finally, they did it right. Moving on to the one last thing on this side of the vehicle that you'll notice, it is the gloss black side blade along the entire lower part of the vehicle. Now this vehicle has the black rings and badges, so you'll see them notated right here. I love how this looks, comparing it on the yellow of the vehicle. I do like it on the back end, of course, versus the grill, since the, they are integrated in the grill and they sometimes get lost. So, but this, because it's contrasting on the yellow, I certainly do like how that looks. Now looking in the trunk, you can see it does have quite a large trunk for a vehicle of this size. You'll also see this is the floor mats that come with on this particular one. And just like the A3, it does have the hook. So when you're ready to change out the battery or access anything right there, you'll latch it up, keeps it up out of the way so you're not having to do both at once. Now, 
Everyone says it's an S3 and it is a sport model. Let's go hear what it sounds like. All right, now let's test out the back seat. You know the drill, my, the front seat has been adjusted for my husband who's a little bit over six feet tall and I'm five, five and three quarters. So moving into the back seat here, I do like how they carry the contrasting stitching all the way to the back seat where it does have that diamond stitching. I love how that looks. But sitting comfortably, I have quite a bit of room and there's still also quite a bit of room in front of my knees as well. As I mentioned on the exterior of the vehicle, it got a complete redesign. The interior did as well. So you'll see this full round steering wheel. There's no longer the option for the flat bottom. And it does now go to the more SUV style airbag cover, which you'll see right here. The S3 does come standard for the first time ever with the virtual cockpit. However, it does not have navigation standard. That is something that is an option as a part of the technology package. And when you get the technology package, it will actually make that virtual cockpit significantly larger. And then you do get some more additional display items in there as well. And for all of you that hated the circle vents and wish they were gone, well, you got your wish. They finally did away with the circle vents. The cool thing that they did do with the vents in here is they are very, very similar to the cockpit of the Lamborghini Urus. Now moving over to the interior of the vehicle, first we're going to start with this door panel. I love these new door handles where you can see this line comes all the way across in the new ergonomic door handles. I love these. These are also a part of the Q3. Moving down slightly, you'll see the power memory here for the driver's seat. You have power one and power two. Another thing that's unique is with the S Sport seats, which this vehicle has, you finally have the power adjustment where you have your 12-way adjustment. So you have your lumbar and then forward and back. Now looking at the interior from this angle, you can see what I mean, how the circle vents are totally gone and now it has the totally new touchscreen in here. So this is out of the Q3 and it also is, this whole setup is the same as the e-tron GT. I love this setup. I think it's awesome and really ergonomic and quite easy to use. I like that this is actually buttons now and not a touchscreen. You do have your heated seat for the driver and the passenger. Both of those are standard. Coming down a little bit, you'll see your wireless charger located here and your new shifter, which is right here. I did a much more in-depth video on this whole system and the climate control in here on the A3 video. If you'd like to learn more about it, leave the questions in the comments or check out that video. There's two more things I want to highlight on the interior of the S3. Because the S Sport seats are standard, you can see how they look. They look pretty freaking awesome. I do like the new diamond style. And you can see there's also the zigzag in between the diamonds. So it's not just diamonds. I like how that, that is interesting and unique for this vehicle in particular. You'll also see it does have the leg extension, which you can pull out right here to your adjustable desired length. And it does also have the lumbar control on the passenger side, which you'll see right here. Now moving up to the last thing I want to highlight, it is the inlays right here. This is also part of the fine Napa leather package on the interior. These are your carbon inlays. You also can see faintly here how there's a blue line right here as a part of the Premium Plus package. You do have the interior color ambient changing lights. So you can have any particular color you want. This is something that's new to the S3. One small feature that in my opinion is an absolute must is the S-Beam Puddle Lights. They are a sapphire lens laser etched LED projection light that comes out from underneath the door. A part of the Premium Plus package is a feature called Park Assist. Park Assist is used when you want to have the vehicle park itself. It uses the radar sensors all over the entire vehicle to park itself in between cars or objects. Unlike other Audis, you do need vehicles or objects to use this feature as it does not use the cameras to see the lines. The car will do all steering, you only have to operate the gas and the brake. So hands up, it's gotcha. Thanks for watching my video on this 2023 Audi S3. I had a lot of fun making this for you and I love this Python yellow. I cannot wait to see it on the new Audi RS3. If you have any other questions about this vehicle or other vehicles that I haven't answered for you, please leave it in the comments or come check one out at Audi Omaha. Thanks for watching.